I'm not going to bed yet. Hey, Steve. Yes. How are you? <laughs> Great. Ever. Greatest match ever that I've had or that you've had. Against in this year in March in, in Germany against Ricky Steamboat in Hamburg, Germany. Yeah. Anything else you know? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow then. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You want to see me doing somersaults or No, I don't know. I want to see you Matt Russell. You're not going to see that with me. No. You know, the matches you've had with Moonsault. Me? Yeah. No. <laughs> And the matches you had with Flair on on the uh, the five the five round thing, yes. those have been excellent matches. I've really enjoyed them. Seriously. Well, why would you enjoy that? There's no moon salts or anything. You want to come to ECW? I wouldn't fit in. There. What do you think of Sabu? I think he's very very. I told these guys before. I think he's an. Ec I've met him last year. He's an excellent young man. I just hope that all you guys that he entertains chip together and pay his retirement fund because he's going to end up a crippled young man. Same as Cactus is going to end up in a wheelchair, and I hope you all take care of him when he's old. In fact, he's not going to be old, he's going to be young, but he's going to look old. Does that make any sense? Yes, it does. I hope you all take care of him. And I mean that in, uh, with all my heart. I hope you all chip in money for him, pay for his bills, because he, he's crippling himself. You guys, you understand that's true? He's crippling himself, but is that? I couldn't get whether, whether you like me or whether you don't, whether you like my style. I don't care. I like your interviews. I like, I don't know. No, my interviews are so so. They're great. Shane oh, Douglas does great interviews. There you go. He does so great. The franchise. We are only allowed so much money. I know. So much time, sorry, not money. Right. So, so much time to do interviews. <laughs> You give me time to do anything, I can do anything. Do you see any of his old interviews? Oh, he's great. He's yeah. awesome. He's a great guy. Yeah. He's a nice guy, very nice guy. He's so nice guy. Sabu, he's going to end up crippled, and I hope each and every one of you. In fact, I think you should all start now by chipping in for a Lloyd's of London policy. Here. <laughs> Same with Cactus. Cactus, he looks 196, he's about three years old. <laughs> you sit him walking in. Straight, and that's all to entertain you guys who like that kind of stuff. And I mean that from my heart. I hope you all take care of these guys and appreciate what they do for you when they get crippled. Because one day it's going to happen. Do you see anything else in anywhere else except around here? Sorry? That kind of wrestling? I've never been here before. It's my first time. So really? First time? Yeah. 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 Appreciate this kind of wrestling. But I mean, but do you think people appreciate Well, maybe not. They're, they're very ignorant. See, so this, is, this, is, this is, what what is this called? Parkour. Parkour. Oh, no, no, what is this called? What is this sport called? Wrestling. 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 What do I do? Wrestling. Wrestling. That's what I think. I I'm hope a, it's a different ball game, though. I hope we're all I'm the best wrestler you've ever seen. You haven't seen a tenth of the stuff I can do. I just haven't got the guys to do it. That's as simple as it goes. I hope we're all by I'm going to Japan on the 30th of June. Hopefully, I get the chance to wrestle. I say he was supposed to be the best wrestler. I'll blow him away. I can do more stuff than you can ever imagine. I just haven't got the guys to do it. Where did I learn how to do it? In Wigan, England. In Riley's gym in Wigan, England. That's where all the, all the Japanese guys, as soon as they leave the dojo, they come to England to learn how to wrestle. That's true. All of them. All of them. They get sent to England to learn how to wrestle. That's the best place in the world to learn. Morris, not me. Because they've never really bothered to get any. That's the, that's the 
it's a decent reason. There's a lot of Fit Finley, an Irish guy from Northern Ireland, I think is the best. Dave Finley? Dave he's Finley. Great. He's great. He's the best wrestler in the world today. There's nobody who can top that guy. He can do anything and, and wrestle anybody, and he's the best guy. It's a pity the guys at the ECW don't pay the money for him to fly over. From he lives in Germany now. They would be for a big treat if they brought him over. I mean, when I, I, it was 91, I was in Germany and they flew all in art over right. to wrestle. They, in fact, both of them, the, the Japanese kid, was, they were both working, they flew a bloke from Germany to, to wrestle here. Yeah, do you like should play. I'll spin that over and see how good he is. I'm, 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 compared with Finley, I'm like this and he's like this, you know what I mean? He's, and Tony Sinclair and Dave Taylor, they're all far better than I could ever be. I never wish to be. And you don't get the chance to see these guys. When I first came here for the first five, six months, I lost interest in this business because I couldn't believe how bad the wrestlers were here. I mean, horrible. And I, I just, from day one, I just... I just lost all interest in this business. You know. I, 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 I want to go home. But it's not so much. It just. It's not the completely different. It was the people that let into this business. I mean, I used to go. go for the I used to go home every night. I, over here, we call it amateur wrestling, like the high school college. No, that's that's not that's did it. That's what they do. That I used to go home coughing blood up and pissing blood every single night of the week. To get this business. I mean, crying, crying myself to sleep. But it is different, though. These people. Are, no idea. What do you think? This business. Marcy, no idea. I'm just talking about wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to direct here, this is our international director. Oh, you don't, you don't. So guys here in America, they just get in the business to make money and they don't care about the sport. Exactly. They just want the money and they don't want to learn if to If this all finished tomorrow, I would go back to earning nothing to be in this. I, I don't know anything else. I've been in this. I'm a first professional master when I was 15 years of age. Right. I'm 16. I left school to do this full time. And I... I have so much love for this business, you would not believe. And it reeves, you wouldn't believe the, the heat I have inside me for the Marcus Bagwells and the Van Hammers and the Eric Watson. <laughs> <laughs> you tear the house down tomorrow? Yeah. Tear the house down? Well, depending what kind of style you like. I mean, I'm not going to do a, a, a certainly not going to do any somersaults. My, my somersault, my, I used to, if you can ever get any old tapes of me, you see I used to do all that shit. I dislocated my shoulder in 1990, I think, diving over the top ropes. The guy, if you read it, things from Europe called Old Furman, Old Ranger used to be called, they moved out of the way and I just hit the concrete and just dislocated my shoulder. I broke myself up pretty bad. And I realised that you don't need to do that stuff. If you guys want to watch that stuff, that's fine. And I've told, I've spent two hours talking to you tonight. If you want to watch that stuff, that's fine. That's fine, but I just hope you take care of these guys when they, because it's going to get to a stage where the only thing to entertain you is going to be two guys going in with a chainsaw and cutting each other's head oh, and actually <laughs> murdering each other. It's true. Actually, death in the ring is the only thing that's going to entertain you. Wings. Because, see, I, I watch FMW and after a while I sit there and I'm bored to death. It gets boring after a while. It's the same thing. You know what though? Speaking Speaking of the single devil. most dramatic thing I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. The single most dramatic thing I've ever seen in my life was I've ever seen a video picture. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a good reaction when it came out. The whole day. I've never seen a crowd like that. I've never, you know. I, I watched that as show. As far as wrestling goes, it was unbelievable. You know what it is? It's the whole, a difference of The whole fans. gimmick thing. I saw a non-gimmick show, you but, see, it, but the drama was phenomenal. Just stop that camera one moment. Let me go to the bathroom. Mark on Rephrase that, dude. I didn't get it. How do you like working with Flair? Okay. It's pretty good. It's been a proven fact that we've drawn more money for this company than any any other top supposed heel than baby face. What, when you guys work together? Yes. You guys did house shows? We've done more money. We've done more money than anybody that's drawn in this company. That's a proven fact over the last few years. Me and him have been built top of the bill. We've done more money than this. Anybody played this thing. We've done more money than any of the others put together over the last, last few months. We've drawn more money built top of the bill than any of those other ones. So that proves, like I was just saying to him, what, what's your name, sorry? It's Scott Short. Scott, I was just saying to Scott here that. 
there's probably less than 10% that like the, the somersaults and the violence and the stuff. Most, 90%, a little bit more, say 90% of the people who watch wrestling want to see the good guy and the bad guy and people that can go in there and entertain. They don't care if you're doing somersaults or if you're cutting yourselves heads off or if you're beating each other with baseball bats. They couldn't care less. They, they just watch it and it'd just be the same as watching a regular match and they don't understand. They, they're the people who watch wrestling. What would happen? That, that's something that people get away from. They don't realise that the people that read the, the wrestling sheets and the, hey Willie, come on. He tells the truth. I guarantee you. One the major wrestler, buddy. The people that read the wrestling sheets don't understand that 90% they're, they're the minority. I am a really minor minority. They don't realize that most of the people that watch wrestling don't, couldn't care less whether you're doing a somersault onto a table or whether you're bleeding heavily or whether you're landing in on the ropes with barbed wire or they, they couldn't care less. That's just for basically, and I don't wish to insult any of you, but that's for the sick population. Of people. What would happen with that 90% if, uh, if you weren't so well defined as a bad guy because Flair's defined himself somewhere between a bad guy and a good guy? And you've been very clearly defined as a bad guy. Now see, and that's important. It's to it's it's see, what you want to define as a bad guy? I don't go out and punch and kick. No. I just rest. But you do, but my you do talking, make comments. But you do make comments. Through my talking, that, which <laughs> is somewhat, <laughs> somewhat, my talking, which is somewhat harbored by working on a television company that we work for, which I can't, I can't say certain things, a lot of things that I would like to say. I mean, with the ECW, you've got such an enormous amount that I, I could go out and, and then say so much. I could give five minute interviews and, and say so much stuff that I'm not allowed to say on TV. Have you seen her show on TV? Yes, yes, very, very good. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm not allowed to say certain things. What would you say? That's, that's another thing that people don't realize, how much we're harbored by certain restrictions to certain TV, obviously. That's, that's, that, that really gets to me that people don't realize how much we're harbored by certain, you know, what, who, who we work for and what we work for, that we're not allowed to do this and do that and do that. What my, 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 I've said it a lot of times tonight to, to certain people. My basic thing, the people who think that they're very smart at this business and who write these sheets, they're so smart, why are they not running a wrestling company? But what happens if, what happens if, for example, aside from you and Flair, what happens when Flair was to wrestle Steamboat on the main event in a pay-per-view, a, a well-built-up match? What happens if he doesn't change his persona? He doesn't go from being basically a good guy to being a bad guy. What happens if he's a good guy, Steamboat's a good guy, and they wrestle better than better than they did, better than they did in '89, better right. than they did before that? What if they both wrestle the best match ever, but as good guys? I came, I came from a mentality, I used to wrestle in a lot of different countries, 22 countries within something ridiculous before I came. And before I came here there was never this set thing that you was this, or you were, you were here, you were, you were a bad guy, or you were a good guy. And I've made a very good living out of this business since I was, I mean I've been wrestling since I was 15, I'm the first professional match when I was 15 years old. At 16, I've been full-time. I've been a full-time professional. I left school in August of 1984. I've been a full-time professional wrestler ever since. And I've been to more countries than anybody else you've ever met. And there's more. This country, you've got to be either this or you've got to be that, and it's not true. Well, look at Japan. They draw all exactly. Many. Exactly. It's totally not true. They have, yeah, I, I, I've drawn like sell-out houses in India, in Pakistan, in, in Europe with, you know, just two wrestlers. When I first, see people got me wrong when I first came to WCW, I was brought here as a wrestler, not as a baby face or as a hero as you could. I was brought here as a wrestler to, to basically bore people to death and to educate them in basic wrestling. And I, did, and I didn't even get the chance to do that. That's true, that's what I was brought here for. Because they hadn't got somebody to wrestle. They had nobody who could do what I could do. And there's still nobody here, and there's still, there's, not, there's nobody in this country can do. You haven't seen a tenth of what I can do. I don't get the chance to do what I can do.
And I'm, uh, I've said before, I'm this big compared to most of the European, the English guys who are Tony Sinclair and Fifth Finley. Uh, like, they blow me away. They blow me away. And yet I'm very good at what I do. They blow me away. They're almost phenomenal. Phenomenal. They. I think you do. They brought me here as this, and then they realized to make any kind of money with me, they had to turn me to such and such. And like I say, for you guys, the like dial in here, supposedly, and I'll say this and I'll say it again all night, 90% of the rest of the uh, wrestling in this country aren't smart to this business. There are little known people who think you're smart. There's a lot of people, but most of the wrestlers aren't smart to this business. They have no idea what wrestling is. This is still called professional wrestling. And it has been founded and it's made a living for many people for many years. For people who do this. Seems as if one day there's going to be a thing called acrobatic combat. They should, they should call, they should, they should, exactly the right word for it. They should call it professional acrobatic combat. Because it's got not to what I do. And, and unfortunately, what people don't realize is that what allowed for this acrobatic combat and for what the Japanese have kind of created a much more acrobatic style of professional wrestling. I mean, you've got to give them their due that they they've combined both to a much better extent than somebody. I mean, you know, I hate to diss you, Sabu, but somebody like Sahu, who has turned it purely into, you know, but in Japan, they've combined the both, where there is wrestling, and there's also an actor that the Japanese have the best wrestling I mean, you watch, that, you watch the Japanese women, I'm go, I'm going I, on it drives me nuts, I can't watch Japanese women dressing because there's way too much happening, way too bad, and it's just too insane, but break down the moves they do, they're, they're a living highway thing. I, you know, I, I'm going there on the 30th of June. For you, they make a thing. They've been asking me for five years to go to Japan. Five years. Five years. And I've been a few times. Five years. 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 Five
the importance of keeping up the persona as a bad guy, you're tempted to actually shake the hands of your problem that I love to see that yeah. The only way they get me to, to do that kind of thing is to bring maybe somebody from you, like the Tony Sinclair or Dave Finley or Dave Taylor, for me to work with the rest of the people. I say it, you've only seen that work for both. It's the intent of what I can do. I can See, now that work for both. That I can do more stuff than you can ever imagine. I just don't have the chance. The first five months out of here, I was in, I was in, I watch them now and I'm embarrassed to even watch them. I was, I was, I, I just lost interest in the whole. I, I couldn't believe the people they let into this business. I mean, in England, you've got to go through a full Now, now, let me just learn in England. I made more money with him than I've ever, I've ever made with anybody else. Me and him sold out more buildings in England. We did the best business that the country's ever seen. Me and him, me and him. Wow. It's just, it's like everybody. When I came here, they didn't give me a chance. When he came here, they didn't give him a chance. There's certain people that don't give you a chance to do what you can do. Let's get this, you know, straight. They give they give and I know they give Sabu a chance and they give Sabu a chance in, in the Liberia if they didn't want to go. That's not true. See he can only do he couldn't do what he does No, you couldn't do it. You could not do it. You could not do it. You'd soon realize you'd soon realise that you cannot do this. He only works I don't three know, times a month. Three times a month. Maybe, maybe, maybe five, five times, six times a month at the most. He could not do that. Every month. He would die very, very soon. I have to agree with you. I think it would be the ultimate progression of, of your storyline here if they did bring an English total baby face, somebody who doesn't put down the USA, doesn't you know, come in have a match with you, you have a great doctor, and then you do shake his hand. Well, sure, because it works with it works with what you're doing, which is not respecting the U.S. They charge that with the U.S. because of what the U.S. is, but then they bring in somebody who's a baby face, and you, you know, you have this great match with them, and then you show them the respect, but yet you still maintain your attitude. He's a great I mean, I, I thought basically we had an okay match at Halloween and how the rest of it was okay. He was okay. He's been here for so long. He's been here since he was 17 years of age. He left England. He was the same as me. He started when he was 15. He left England when he was 16. He's been taking hard practice. bumps for a lot of years. <laughs> you see, that's another thing people don't realize. I and I sold throughout the world before I came here. And this and Japan is the only place with good rings. Everywhere else, I mean, it's just like this world. You can't take the kind of abuse. I went for in, in April, it was in October last year, I went for an extra. They're going to back like a 50 year old coal miner. It was just, I mean, they're just old boxing rings, you know, bang, bang, every night. I mean, in England, I used to travel 3,000 miles a week, a week, with no money at all. You know, I mean, it's ridiculous. But I'd, start, I'd go back to doing it tomorrow because I have a deep love for this business. Whereas most of the people now are just in this business for the money. I don't. People are in this you know, you avoid that kamikaze uh, thing that Sabu and Cactus and the long way down are done. You, know, you avoid that. In, I appreciate it. I no, appreciate, you appreciate what they it, do. But what I'm saying is, you but avoid I that. I wouldn't do myself. You I want to be doing this when I'm fit. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, I, mean, I, I have no idea what else to do. But you avoid that. I, I've never done anything else. I've just done this ever since I left school. I don't know anything else to do. So, what can I do? What, what I'm saying is, some of these the legends that are here now, and, and you and other people who are kind of wrestling, you don't do that stuff and you get absolutely no respect because of what people's respect for no, who? No, no, what respect I'm saying is from, from, from the, the majority of fans here, here, you know, and I think they, you know, they're brand new Mercedes, they care, you know, 
So what I'm saying yeah, is people yeah, like that. Like, and I get paid yeah, through that. And it's all paid through. Yeah. Yeah.
Mr. Bennett, our headlock's done. You know, the same thing we could put a headlock on. You said you can do one time for the over here. Do you think you could do more? I do more every time. I do always do just one, one thing more. I mean, that, that's another thing that wrestlers do here. They, they do everything they can do in one match. Why do that? And everything you do from then onwards is an anti-climax. Or, or the same, this, it's either the same or an anti-climax. Every now and then I'll add... All the same spots. All the same spots. Every match. Every now and then I'll just add a little different thing that I can do. Whether you like it or whether you don't. Like it, it, was, it, it pleases me that I'm just showing you I can do something else. Maybe I look at it the wrong way because I guess I guess it's so, so hard for it. I would look at your match like, oh, it's headlock and everything. I mean, I respect it for itself being kind of what we would call over here amateur because what you do is what we would consider as amateur. amateur. Yeah, but that's what we would consider over here because that's what we were brought up with. That's what we have in some of our high schools. And a lot of people that I know, I don't, maybe it's just here in Philly, but we look more spots. Maybe not, the characters kind of finishes we don't, at least with DCW, you know what I mean? This week they had Sabu match and there was a finish and the crowd was clear pin drop. Control the spots and everything, but I mean, with your style of wrestling over here, the arm bars were just kind of like, oh well, anybody can do that. That's the thing, anybody can. Anybody yeah, but the whole persona, the anybody, whole, everybody anybody around you thinks my, that... Anybody with half a mind can throw themselves over the top rope backwards. Well, see, you can think that, but a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of the people I know, I could be wrong, of course, would respect like that daredevilish kind of wrestling, where they look at your arm, arm bar, you know, leg drop, rest holds, whatever. I mean, not even the educated part. What do you call rest holds? That's just society. That's just... I, I, I don't ever do any what you what supposed American restaurants. I don't do right? I'm always doing something. Okay. Always. But it looks like it from what we have seen, what we know, what we see on TV. Because I'm sure a lot what's, of guys. Have a match the last wrestling. match that I did with Pillman, there was more wrestling holes than you've seen in, 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 in 50 matches you've seen over the last years. There's more different wrestling holes in that match than you've ever seen. It's like you said before, you have to have some yeah. normal style. Yeah. Go to sleep. You're going to be resting tomorrow night. Let's go and eat some salt. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. I'm saying, I'm saying, I do my style, and I don't care less if, if the so-called oh, no, yeah, fans like me. I couldn't yeah. care less. You're and not from here, you're I'm, from over there. And yeah. I couldn't care less. I was brought up with a different <laughs> mentality. But what if every single match went out and did somersaults and flips? We get tired of it. Just like the rest holds the arm I, I, I can get tired of I, I watch a lot of our stuff. But see, what I, you might think would be the ignorance of the fans over here. No, I, with, don't, I don't think of ignorance. Okay, well, I just it's think just the way it has been for years and the way it's been brought up to with TV and everything. I mean, these days on TV now, we need, at least my, for excitement, we need to move salts on the tables or whatever. Because but, cause that's here. You know what I mean? But how many, if, if every match did that, what would it mean when the last match come around to do it? Because not everybody does it. I'm not a main event match, am I? No. Am I ever a main event match? Not here, no. Exactly. So why would I want to go out and, and take everything away from the main event match? I just go out, I go out and do my, my job. I do a good job. Would you like to be a main event or a Do you think you could do it? Myself and Rick Flair have been billed as top of the bill. I've drawn more money in the last two years than anybody else in this company. We've drawn more money around this country than anybody else in this country. Now, you don't get that printed in the sheets. No, no, probably not. 
right? Because, because I'm not Sting or I'm not Vader. I don't want to insult myself and Rick Flair. I've drawn more money for this company than anybody than Vader and Sting and Lex Luger and the Steiner brothers. who have drawn more money for this company than anybody else in the last two years. I mean, I know that's... I know that's what you're thinking of. Right I'm on about the house shows. I know that's what you came from. A few months before they had two of the top supposed guys and half four we sold out. Queuing out, we couldn't get many people in the area. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No angels, nothing. Yeah. 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 Just a regular house show yeah. Just two people that can wrestle. That was obviously a wrestling area. Yeah. Uh, and the North, the North, the North uh, uh, more wrestling. More people that are used to doing the crazy stuff. We wouldn't do anything here. Down there, but down there, you're, you know, the top guys here wouldn't do anything down there. I'll tell you, up here though, it's a little, I mean, it's a little different. Where they're more down with angles. Oh, exactly. Interviews down there. Like ECW, I, down there so my own opinion, yeah. Like Smoky Mountain's kind of old school. It's down south. I, I think. But up I, here, I think that's a great show, Smoky like, Mountain. Like, it's different, I like it. That's like how, the see, you know what I like about wrestling is like I can look at Japan, look at here, look at WWF. There's a difference. See, I enjoy it because I can get a different product from whatever I watch. But, I mean, with the arm bar around here, it's just it's just the way it has come through through the years with television and with the violence and everything. It's a shame that it is like that, but an arm bar match just won't sell. It's depending what kind. That could be my ignorance because I live right here, but maybe down south it's completely different. You know, it's the difference between an arm bar and an arm bar. I mean, because that's professional wrestling, like it on television. I mean, I can, I can watch Channel <laughs> Oh, I'm, You're I mean, an arm this is what, oh, you can break my arm off in a second. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's just the way people, maybe not for myself, but just the common public have seen professional wrestling these days, exactly. I mean, people will belittle me because they're like, you like wrestling? Well, it's fake. And, and, you know, it's the worst thing I hate. Uh, Anybody says it was the that. word fake. I mean, I, I you know, I mean, I, I'm beat up pretty, pretty bad as it is. People abuse yourself for this business. The cactus is over here. I mean, look at him, he can hardly walk straight. I mean, he's, how, how can you say that this is fake? It's fake. That, that, that is the worst. The people, the people that, that knock on the takes a toll on you. The people that knock this business are the ones that don't watch it. Exactly. The people that understand it and watch it are the ones that appreciate it for what it is. I hate that word fake. That, that really, I mean, that annoys me more than anything. I feel like you wouldn't believe it. They could just see you guys in the work a match and all. It really, really hurts on the insides of people that say that this is fake. That's ridiculous. There's people around. There's a lot of people that. If it's fake. How about in England? Do a lot of people think of it like that? Oh, yeah, but I mean. But there's, there's, there's a mass. There's a mass sense that people don't. People have no concept of the wrestling business. They just. It's like most people are frightened of snakes. But you're not born with a fear of snakes. Not to like snakes. It's the same thing with wrestling. Most people are sides. So, so they, they all think because they don't do it, you know. Told what you're told. It's all what you're told. Anybody that watches and studies wrestling realizes that these men just abuse themselves badly. They look at it from what they first hand see, but they don't realize what dedication it takes. Everything. People like that shouldn't even be there. <laughs> <laughs> Mass burning with bag work. Where do you think it's Diamond Dallas Page? He goes to the school all the time. <laughs> Enough said. What do you think of Zabisco? I think he's a, probably a great wrestler and a great talker. He's excellent.
Uh, any, of San see, any of you guys see the local, the, the oh, worldwide show? Three. The worldwide yes. show we did this week. Both did excellent. And yet tonight on TBS they showed the worst interviews we've How did you do I mean, we do that many interviews and they showed the worst possible ones they could show. They showed a meaning for TBS. How great of a wrestler it was two years ago there. You know the Bruno angle? I don't, I don't know much about it. 79 where he attacked Bruno, he was his protege. Two years ago when he was wrestling as a heel, the whole place was doing the Bruno. He's so over. I mean, he's so over as a heel, I don't know how he's gonna be as a face. So he goes to the I'll be on <laughs> It's just Sabisco. I don't know how he'll be over, especially here in Philly. This is hometown, isn't it? Pittsburgh, not Pittsburgh is. The other side of the state. What do you think of Bret Hart? Oh, he's excellent. Yeah. I know and very, very good. Excellent. What about Henny? Excellent. You know, those three guys. Uh, what about Chuck Austin? Getting the brothers next. Oh, Anderson, Rick Flair, Bobby. You like Arm? He's great. Ricky Steamboat. Steve Austin. Steve Austin. Let's cold. Too cold? He's, He's another spot wrestler. Watch out, Austin. Good for spots. Very overrated. You think? I wrestled him. Very overrated. It's good for spots, though. Good at doing somersaults, but that's not wrestling. Yeah. We're talking about right. wrestling. What I think are good wrestlers. It's great doing it. three it somersaults off the top rope. I, and I have said it, I said it tonight as well, I think the, the best and most underrated wrestler in this country today is Brad Armstrong. He's good. Yeah, I think he's excellent. In fact, he's on the show tomorrow night. He's working on uh, Terry Taylor, dark match? No. no. I think him and his brother, Brian. Brian? The one who was in the... the one who's What do you think about the light heavyweights? You know, I think they, like should, they should, they should make. They should make. In England, in England, there's. The, Don't they have like water weight belts? They have a light weight belt. They have a middle weight belt. They have a mid heavyweight belt. They have a light heavyweight belt. They have a mid heavyweight belt. They have a heavyweight belt. True. Because there's so many different weights of people, right. and so many different sizes. And I think it'd be good to do something like that here. They had the light going for a little bit over here. I don't know if you... Yes. Maybe when you were just coming in, it was going out. What? I had gone out when I got here. Yeah. That was interesting. There's, um, they had Liger in. What do you think of him? Excellent. And I've known him for a long time, since I was 17. Very, very good. What do you think of uh, the Big Mac versus the Whopper? <laughs> 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 What did you say about the game ever? He's very good. I thought we had a very good match at the last pay per view. Could have been better, but it was very good. Who do you like to wrestle in this country? Brad Armstrong. Where would I go? I'd go to Would you want to work against Hardaway? I'm wrestling anybody. I can't. Anybody that's got any brain whatsoever against about this business who thinks are so-called smart. It doesn't matter who I wrestle, whether it's the worst of the worst or I've never had what you can say is a horrible match on television since I've been doing this deal. Everybody I wrestle, I have a decent match with. Not great, but a decent match. I've never had a real bad match. I don't think so. And no, that's not just saying for myself. Not, I, I don't do any somersaults. So if you like wrestling, I've never had a bad match. I've had an okay match with pretty much everybody. What do you think the chances are of them bringing in a David Finley or Tony Sinclair? I don't think Tony, but I'm hopefully they, they're bringing David Finley. So we'll tear this place apart. Is they talking to him at all? I don't know. Yes. Yeah? I'd like to see.
David Finn is the best wrestler in the world today. David Finn? Yes. David yes. Finn is the best wrestler in the world today. He wrestled in the uh, New Japan Junior Tournament. Yeah, he was on oh, New Japan Junior Super Jack. Yeah. I think he goes on leaves on Monday. I got him against Eddie Gilbert on that. Yeah, he did. wrestled out of that. Out of Wands. Out of Wands. 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 I'm Austrian too. Yeah. Austrian and English. He's the best wrestler. Professional wrestler in the world. English descent, me. He's the best wrestler in the world today. I think so. What about ravishing Rob Feinstein? Don't be smart. Um, Who's that? No, I wrestle. Yeah, but it's not even that. He's some. I don't wrestle. I don't wrestle. Never mind. Scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think with all this 15-minute uh, draws? Every match is a draw with you. Well, that's good. Is that with your style, or I, mean, I could see where the common public get kind of like PO'd at every match is a draw with you. But that's like, is there anything you can do about it, or that's all Not a lot. upper management? Not a lot. It's different. Yeah. It's like the purpose of like the TV belt, though. It's yeah. Why don't they give you more pins? Clean. Rick to keep his champ, they obviously should. How come you said that, that you came in under Bill Watts? How come they're still like giving you the push as the champ now? Why? Yeah. Why? The, because of well, talent. It's obvious. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the heads. Obviously, the people. So you think that not the people like yourselves and suppose the hardcore like blood and guts and the somersaults. So like I told these people within one week of me doing the, the, the Lord thing, I had more heat in the in the in the southern towns where we go than anybody else I know has come near the moment. It was more natural. It, people hated me. Obviously, people can you know they can see that you don't. It doesn't spread this far north, but because of character. Sure, character down there. That's Did more picture. You never wrestled in Philly, have you? No. It's, uh, it's, tough. it's gonna be rough. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, do you think I care? No. No. <laughs> no, not at all. You spoke to me long enough. Yep. I couldn't care less. They can scream. They can call me anything they want. I couldn't care. Less. You'll get heat down that way. I've wrestled. I've wrestled <laughs> 30 minutes in front of three people. Yes, I think I care. A lot of people start shouting, boring, or booing me.